Wildfires are natural events as old as the land itself. Every year, wildfires in the United States burn millions of acres of forests and grasslands. Today, thousands of people live in areas where these natural wildfires have historically shaped the landscape over the centuries. Problems arise when residents do not know how to live compatibly with wildfire in an area known as the Wildland Urban Interface. The particular structure was an L-shaped structure that came out to this open area in the front. Uh, behind it was the backdrop of the hill, uh, and it had the natural vegetation for the area. Unfortunately, it was too close to the house, uh, and it created an indefensible space for our crews to get in and protect the structure. The loss of homes amounts to a problem of national scale, but one that can be solved only at the local level. First of all, you have to get the citizens involved. It can't be agency driven. It has to, we have to have grassroots support from planners uh, in the planning community, from mayors, councilmen, neighborhood groups, and you have to get buy-in. For over 10 years, the National FireWise program has provided homeowners with the knowledge and techniques necessary to create an environment so their homes can survive a wildfire. FireWise is like the clearinghouse. They, they get all the good information, what's working, what's not working. And so that's where it's really been an advantage for us to participate in the program. In 2001, the Federal Register published a list of 11,000 communities determined to be at risk Yet the fire season occurs around the country at different times each year, making nearly all communities at risk to wildfire. One of the difficulties of the wildland urban interface is that it cannot be defined as a geographic location, but a set of conditions that can exist anywhere. But the good news, however, is that homes don't have to burn. The FireWise Communities USA program encourages homeowners to take the initiative in protecting themselves and their homes as they continue to enjoy the beauty of nature and the reasons they came to live in these areas around the country. The FireWise Communities USA recognition draws on a community spirit, its resolve, and its willingness to take responsibility for its ignition potential. It provides national recognition to homeowners by rewarding their efforts to protect their homes from wildfire. Briargate, a planned community of nearly 3,000 homes, is located near Ormond Beach, Florida. In 1998, thousands of acres surrounding the development burned during three separate incidents. Thus, the community is keenly aware of the wildland fire potential. The Ormond Beach Fire Department helped initiate Briargate as the first ever FireWise pilot site. Well, we really don't know whether we have a problem unless we conduct an assessment. And what we use is what's known as the NFPA uh, 299 standard, what's the National Fire Protection Association standard. And that allows us to look at the, uh, the fuels, uh, look at the demography, and make an assessment as to whether or not this community would be at risk. After a community assessment, the FireWise work group helped to create action items for subsequent FireWise pilot projects, including a local commitment for a blueprint for house safety in Ormond Beach. Pilot projects whereby several lots within selected subdivisions will be simultaneously cleared to provide adequate setbacks. Lists of FireWise landscape vegetation. Meeting with new homeowners to make them aware of FireWise features. The developer also worked to achieve trade-offs with local officials in order to safely benefit the eventual homeowners, including a million gallon water tank for firefighting, three man-made lakes, the soil taken from the sites was used for the construction of a fire break, and thinning common area pine forests throughout the development. It was determined that implementing FireWise principles saved approximately $130,000 in the overall development of Briargate. Additionally, the developer agreed to create an infrastructure preparation plan for future construction that incorporated many FireWise methodologies by providing roadways that are a minimum of 24 feet wide and two means of roadway ingress and egress, providing pressurized high capacity hydrants, creating water retention ponds and fire safety buffers. 
and creating a landscaping demonstration project in the common areas. Finally, Ormond Beach held a Firewise Day at Lowe's, where citizens attended seminars, gathered information, and children took part in a scavenger hunt. Local, state, and federal agencies, as well as surrounding communities, took part to help support the day's activities. Becoming Firewise is a process, and like many processes, it is most effective when begun at the smallest scale. A participating FireWise Community USA need not be an incorporated jurisdiction. Any neighborhood, subdivision, or homeowner association may participate by reducing the threat of wildfire to their homes by charting their own course at their own pace. Becoming recognized as a FireWise Community USA begins when the homeowners recognize the wildfire threat and decide to accept and share the responsibility to make necessary changes. The following is a series of recognition standards to adopt when becoming a FireWise community. Enlist a wildland urban interface specialist to complete an assessment and create a plan that identifies locally agreed upon achievable solutions that the community can implement. Assessment is an inventory of the area in order to determine you know, how bad the fire hazard is, what areas that we need to treat, and, uh, and then after we do an assessment, then we have the ingredients to put together a plan. Sponsor a local FireWise task force, committee, commission, or department that maintains the FireWise community program and tracks its progress and status. Observe a FireWise Communities USA Day each spring that is dedicated to a local FireWise project. Invest a minimum of $2 annually per capita in local FireWise Communities USA efforts. Work by municipal employees or volunteers using municipal and other equipment can be included, as can state or federal grants dedicated to that purpose. Submit an annual report to FireWise Communities USA documenting continuing compliance with the program. Wildfires will happen, but homes can survive. Managing the wildland urban interface fire issue at home within a community is the key to creating a safer, more wildfire compatible America. If your community is interested in becoming FireWise, contact www.firewise.org/usa or your state forestry agency for more information. <laughs>